Here we have a Gibson SJ200, awesome guitar. One common problem with these guitars though is the pickguard lifting up from the body of the guitar over time. Zoom in a little closer here so you can see that. Um, if this happens and it's not too bad, you can just press the pickguard back into the guitar and I'll stay put for a bit. But uh, this has been going on for about five years and so looking to fix it once and for all. Um, I've removed the B and E strings, just so there's a little more room to work around the pick guard, and uh, we'll see how this works. Okay, so there's gonna be three steps to this process. First, we're going to remove the pick guard from the guitar. To do that, we're going to use a hair dryer on a low heat setting to heat up the adhesive currently holding the pick guard to the guitar. We'll also use a plastic spatula to lift up the pick guard and not damage the guitar's finish at all. Uh, once the pickguard's off the guitar, we're going to remove any remaining adhesive on the guitar using either a uh, basic uh, guitar polish, I have one here from Dunlop, or a naphtha, which is a fairly gentle solvent, but a little more intense that uh, will also be totally safe for the guitar's finish. And we'll just use a basic polishing cloth with either of those. And then finally, we will reattach the pickguard to the guitar. And to do that, we will use 3M pickguard adhesive sheets as well as scissors in a pen to uh, create the right shape into the sheets. So first we're gonna see how much of this we can get off just with our hands before we bust out the hairdryer. Um, it's coming up at all of the edges. And actually you can kind of see it starting to peel here. Bring in the spatula. Uh, plastic spatula, good option to not damage the finish of the guitar at all kind of wedging it in here a bit, getting a little bit of traction, but it is stuck and you get closer to the pick guard pretty good. So I think we'll, we'll bust out the hair dryer. Uh, there's a little bit of adhesive up here that didn't come off with the hairdryer. Um, I'm gonna start and just use this Dunlop guitar polish and see if we can clean that off. So that when we apply the uh, adhesive on the new pick guard, it holds well. Okay, so we've got the pick guard and our adhesive sheet here. So we are going to uh, peel off this covering and then we will put the pick guard on the sheet. We're gonna have to jump into a second sheet. We'll do this, put this here, press it. of truth so we'll gently remove the back and you can see all that adhesive stays on the pick if you mess this up it's not a huge deal you can repeat the whole process but uh, I'm just gonna make sure we're lined up on the sound hole and here as well Okay, cool. I'm just putting it down. Nice. All right, and then I'm just gonna press around the corners. Just make sure all of the adhesive is there. And voila, pick guard reapplied.